Welcome to a second update today in which we're going to discuss Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin has been correcting, the equity markets have been dropping down, everyone is respecting Black Friday. We're going to discuss that in the update of this afternoon as you probably or might be having a ton of questions when it comes to the market. Before we're going to continue, we're going to have a slight announcement. It's Black Friday, so if you want to join the platform and get my portfolio, my trades, or if you want to join the newsletter with the latest insights of the markets, there's a 30% discount until Monday, which is recurring forever on a gold membership and the newsletter, which you can find in the description beneath. Also, before you're going to continue, do not forget to subscribe to this newsletter or subscribe to this YouTube channel beneath. And also do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. December will be epic. Next week will be fun too, as there's lots of stuff happening. I've been going through the rain today. Um, that's why my hair is also beautiful. Um, and we are seeing some corrective moves across markets. And there first few first few things that I would like to discuss with you is um, the fact that Yesterday I've made a video regarding Bitcoin being bullish or at least showing some bullish momentum But I've clearly stated that if Bitcoin is still beneath 60k, I don't see too much bullishness at this point You're seeking for clear confirmation on the actual bottom to take place and you're seeking for um, additional arguments to actually start entering heavily however it's very counter intuitive if you're going to look for positions right now while everyone is screaming pain and saying hey the markets are going to drop even more from 69k to 55 and even 53 today we've had a correction of 25 percent the sweet spot is a little bit lower but if you're completely new into the markets or if you were into USDT, I think the chances for you to start building your portfolio are quite clear and are getting here in which you're currently getting an option to get into Bitcoin after a correction of about 25%. Then second, what I would like to discuss today is the fact that lately some altcoins have been doing well and when some altcoin is doing well it covers the entire market so sandbox the central land elrond avalanche they cover social media because they are going up and that is triggering a ton of people as there is lots of people that really want to get into position based on green candles and fomo but i'm trying to repeat it all the stupid times that if you want to get into a position be hesitant and wait for a higher time frame correction to take place that's what we're seeing right now on those altcoins and i'm quite sure that we're going to get some big runs on the altcoins still but what we also see is that bitcoin is moving based on macroeconomic impacts so we do see some fear regarding COVID and regarding the new version that is going around in Africa. There's also some new lockdowns that people were not expecting, which was news that we've had for the past few weeks but didn't price in yet. Right now we do see that it's getting priced in, into the markets and that's why we get this corrective move taking place. Should you be scared at this point? Definitely not. I think you're getting yourself into beautiful opportunities and that's why getting into the markets when nobody wants to or when most of the people are expecting to continue that is where you want to jump in two weeks ago we expected an acceleration with plan b in which i clearly stated that i'm not expecting that to take place right now people are starting to come bearish at the point that we're reaching into higher time frame support zones and that is the moment where i get interested into the market slightly um, as I think that we might be getting a little bit more of corrections still taking place, but we're getting there. And I think that is a good thing. And I think that 2022 is going to be massive. Before we're going to continue, I would definitely say to you, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can see we are building the YouTube channel or the YouTube studio here. Um, let's get into the charts after the, um, um, I've stated that you should be subscribing to this YouTube channel. So let's dive into the charts as currently I can see a slight bounce taking place. So let's discuss those. So when we want to discuss the price action on Bitcoin, we can see that we've had a critical resistance zone 
that Bitcoin basically rejected from. So this entire 60k area was the higher time frame resistance, which we clearly rejected, which was also the clearly the clear resistance point based from the entire structure that we had during March, April and May. So we rejected there and we got back into this entire range construction as we know here. That's why uh, you can clearly derive a few levels of importance. And that's why I'm also concluding that we might be getting in for a few more corrective movements on the markets at this stage. Yes, we have reached the first level of interest in which we could be looking at some short term bounces, which we also clearly have seen. But given this entire range structure that Bitcoin is acting in, the actual support that you're looking at is this region around 48.5k to 50k. So in that perspective, we could be having this corrective move in which we get towards that region and in which we get a even correct more and heavier correction, um, sweeping all those lows, making people more bearish going into 2022. And then we start reversing. I think the sweet spot is around 48.5K um, as we have got this entire range construction, but we also have this level around 52. Um, so based on that fact, we've got multiple levels and through that we can start using a DCA strategy into, the, into this region. So for instance, we are down approximately 25% from the recent high, 22 actually. Um, if we start building longs in this range and we make those buys all the way towards 48.5, you get an average point of around 52 into the markets right now or 51 and a half. And that is a beautiful um, accumulation in this area. You never know for sure where the market are, markets are going to bottom. You never know for sure where um, it's going to bounce heavily and therefore you start accumulating that position and you just DCA into that entire region to build yourself a swing trade tra portfolio or a swing trade overall. Based on this daily candle, I think we're going to have some more downwards momentum. And when we're looking at lower time frames, which I'm going to pop up in a little bit, um, we can see some crucial levels too. So for instance, this entire 60k level we rejected. Now we are building one in which we rejected at 59 and most likely we're going to have a rejection taking place around 55.82. Um, this is now the crucial resistance point. Uh, why is that? Well, we've just discussed the entire range construction, right? In which we just dropped into a higher time frame range construction. Uh, what we do see here is that we've been acting in this sideways range for approximately a week. So if Bitcoin bounces back up, flips this level, it seems likely that we're going to take out the highs around um, the previous resistance points because that's where the liquidity is and usually you will see the price uh, overshoot towards the other side of the range. So this is the crucial trigger for me in which if we bounce above 56k, um, I'd like to see a re uh, support resistance flip off this area. And if that takes place, I'm assuming we're going to test uh, retest 60k once again. But at this point, I'm not assuming we will. We're clearly acting beneath. We're clearly making new lower lows, lower highs, through which the trend is south. Um, the levels that I'm looking at are still the levels around 52 and most likely around 48 to 50k. Ethereum against UCT. Uh, we've also been covering this one and the fact about ranges is actually taking place here. We broke above 44, uh, we bounced against the resistance point at 45.50 and we rejected, nuked beneath, beneath 4400 bucks and therefore we started dropping down even more through which we are currently bouncing on higher time frame support once again. But clearly we are going to see a weakness around the markets at this point in which I'm assuming we are going to reject around 42.30 which is quite comparable to Bitcoin rejecting around 56K and then possibly have another correction taking place towards 3600 um, as this is not looking too great at this point. Overall, I'm assuming that we're going to have some clear retests taking place of the markets. We are currently seeing one on the total market cap, but I, I think the sweet spot is lying around 2.2 trillion. In that case, we might be uh, eager for another correction of approximately 6 to 7%. But if that is done, 
Um, I think the sweet spot for the entire market is definitely around December to start buying your positions um, in which already, as I've just disclosed with Bitcoin, right now already you might be looking for swing trade positions um, as the markets are just providing that. Tomorrow I'm back with two new updates or one depending on the market movements. Um, do not forget to subscribe beneath, check out Black Friday deal and do not forget to enjoy your weekend. See you again soon.